hello dear students in this lecture we will be discussing briefly tissue culture technique of micropropagation so let us discuss what is micropropagation micropropagation is the artificial process of producing plants vegetatively through tissue culture or cell culture technique in this process the artificial process of propagation plants are produced in vitro by asexual means of reproduction or by vegetative propagation so basically micropropagation means micro plus propag propagation which means the production of large number of plants in short time and space and the micropropagation technique of tissue culture utilizes the property of totipotency in plant cells because all the plant cells are totipotent so the totipotent cells can give rise to new organs and also the whole plant now in the technique of micropropagation there are two pathways through which the propagation of plant can take place first is somatic embryogenesis in somatic embryogenesis the embryos are directly produced on the explant or the plant part which is giving rise to the new plant so, and the other pathway is organogenesis so in organogenesis different organs are first formed and then the whole plant is formed so micropropagation can be through somatic embryogenesis or organogenesis somatic embryogenesis is a one step process where the directly embryos are formed on somatic cells and they give rise to new plants and organogenesis is a two step process where first the shoots are formed and then the roots are formed and then the whole plant is formed so uh, both the method gives rise to new plants now the here you can see this is uh, these are embryos which are uh, developing on uh, the callus and so this is your somatic embryogenesis and in the this picture you can see that there is a node which is uh, which has been uh, cultured and it is first giving rise to shoots and then these shoots gives rise to roots when it is kept in rooting medium so uh this both somatic embryogenesis and organogenesis can be direct or it can be through a callus so what is callus callus is a undifferentiated massive tissue so uh, it can directly embryos can directly form on the part of the plant or it can first uh, give rise to callus and then form organs or embryos so these are the two methods for micropropagation now, in this picture we can just see that uh, what are the two methods we have just discussed so like here allowed like this is a pollen which will give rise to new plant so from this pollen in one of the pathways uh, this callus has developed which is undifferentiated mass of tissue and then from this callus the shoot is formed and then this shoots they are transferred to rooting media they will form roots and then this the whole plant uh, will be formed so uh, this is one pathway and the second pathway is through embryogenesis where the directly uh, embryo is formed so this is a globular embryo and then it converts to heart shape then torpedo shape and so this then gives rise to a new plant so this is the pictorial description that how uh, the new plants are formed by uh, different pathways first pathway is through organogenesis and the second is through embryogenesis the primary requirement for a plant cell uh, to give rise to new plant in a tissue culture medium is or uh, through tissue culture technique is that it has to be grown on a medium and that medium is called artificial medium so this artificial culture medium uh, is basically uh, of many kinds first is called basal medium so this basal medium consists of 
माइक्रोन्यूट्रियंट्स माइक्रोन्यूट्रियंट्स विटामिन मिनरल सुक्रोज एंड अगार अगार एंड वेन दिस बेसन मीडियम इज सप्लीमेंटेड विद ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स इट कैन बी शूटिंग मीडियम और रोटिंग मीडियम सो लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस वॉट इज द बेसन मीडियम बेसन मीडियम कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ माइक्रोन्यूट्रियंट्स माइक्रोन्यूट्रियंट्स विटामिन मिनरल्स सुक्रोज एंड अगार अगार सो वॉट आर माइक्रोन्यूट्रियंट्स these macronutrients provide the six major elements which are nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium and sulfur which are required for plant cell or tissue growth micronutrients are essential micro uh, for plant cell and tissue growth and they include iron manganese zinc boron copper and molybdenum now the carbon or the energy source which is utilized in artificial culture medium and tissue culture is sucrose and the vitamins which are most frequently used are thiamine nicotinic acid pyridoxin and myoinositol the then this culture medium has to be semi solid on which the uh, plant is cultured so this solidifying agent is agar agar and this is the most common gelling agent used in the preparation of semi solid medium so here you can see this is the medium and this is semi solid because of agar agar so this whitish medium uh, this is in test tube and this is in flask and then when this basal medium is uh, uh, supplemented with growth regulators then we can use uh, four kinds of uh, growth regulators which are auxin cytokinins gibberellins and abscisic acid now there are eight basal medium which are used uh, and these basal media can induce organogenesis callus culture uh, and they can be utilized for micro propagation and cell suspension so cell cell suspension suspension is your liquid culture now the eight basal media which are generally used in tissue culture they are whites medium knobs medium morashig and scoop which is called ms medium morashig and tucker which is called mt medium linsmar and scoop which is called ls medium gamberg or b5 medium nitsch medium which is also called nb medium and sh medium which is called schenken helderbrands medium and lloyd and macrons medium so these are the eight kinds of media which are used in tissue culture Uh, um, techniques. Now let us discuss some terms. So, what is a explant? Explant is the plant part which is used uh, for the propagation of new plant. So, explant can be any ex part of the plant because all the parts of the plants and all the cells are totally potent. So, explant can be a node, it can be a shoot, it can be a root, it can be um, apical meristem, leaf. anything which gives rise to new plant is called explant then we have just discussed basal medium so basal medium when it is supplemented with any cytokinin it is called shooting medium and this cytokinin can can be any cytokinin it can be natural or it can be um, artificial for example the most commonly cytokinin used in tissue culture media are bap which is your benzylalanine purine tdz or zeatin these induces shoots or callus which gives rise to shoots so uh, besides these uh, bap or benzylalanine uh, 2ip and then zeatin kinetin these can also be utilized to induce shoots in uh, on explants then the other um, uh, your uh, the other medium is rooting medium rooting medium is when the basal medium is supplemented with auxin and this auxin can be any auxin it can be 2,4-D naphthalene acetic acid um, your IBA indole butyric acid uh, or uh, any any of the um, uh, auxins can be utilized for inducing roots in the um, shoots when they are formed for example here in this picture you can see that the first picture is of uh, of a nodal explant this nodal explant is given rise to shoots and this is a shooting medium where the shoots are formed uh, or sometimes shoots are also formed in basal medium without any uh, uh, supplementation of cytokinin so but generally cytokinin is required for the um, regeneration of uh, shoots 
then these shoots when they are transferred on the rooting me medium which is supplemented with auxin it gives rise to roots and then this becomes a whole plant and then this whole plant is transferred to incubators and finally to soil after acclimatization or hardening so in the in these pictures you can see that instead of test tubes the plants are growing in jam bottles and then they are transferred to soil and then it is growing in a pot so the explant has first given rise to shoot then to root then uh, the acclimatization is hardening of the plants in incubators and then they are transferred to soil so this is the whole method of growing a plant in tissue culture medium uh, in artificial in this picture conditions. you can see the different steps uh, which are uh, we have just discussed so this is a leaf explant this leaf explant is um, first um, transferred in a basal media where in, in it forms a callus callus is an undifferentiated mass of tissue then this callus is supplement uh, is transferred to a shoot uh, stimulating medium uh, where the basal medium is supplemented with cytokinin the shoots are formed then these shoots are transferred to a rooting medium which is the basal medium supplemented with auxin and then the whole plant is formed and then it is transferred to soil so in the here in the uh, these pictures you can see that uh, these are shoots and then they are shoots um, uh, you see that they are transferred to soil so in from one explant we can give rise to one explant gives rise to many shoots that is why this uh, process is called micro propagation then in a picture where you can see that um, this is the shoot and the shoot or the meristems and these meristems are transferred in the uh, so in this case this uh, meristem shoot tip or the shoot meristem is the explant it is transferred uh, in the medium basal medium and then uh, this shoot development takes place when it is supplemented with cytokinin or uh, when uh, from the basal medium the cyto uh, it is transferred to a sub cytokinin supplemented medium then branching takes place and the branches are formed and then from one explant we can see that many uh, number of shoots are formed and where then this shoot is transferred to a rooting medium where the roots are formed so uh, here again you can see that instead of uh, from this a meristem or a shoot tip can be isolated or a nodal explant can be taken and then shoot development takes place and then axillary branching takes place when it is transferred to cytokinin supplemented medium and after then root de roots develop when it is transferred to a rooting medium this is another picture where you see that uh, this is the whole plant and from the whole plant we can take any um, explant to propagate the new plant for example you can see that they have taken node and from this node uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, there are uh, from one node you can see that from one plant different nodes can be taken out which are uh, transferred in basal media and four test tubes and from these four test tubes you can see that how many plants are formed eight and then uh, these are transferred to soil so that is why this process is called micro propagation so one explants has given rise to eight and these are plants. again the same pictures we have just seen so this is your nodal explant from nodal explants the plant is formed in test tubes the lower picture shows, shows the plants growing in jam bottles this is a tissue culture laboratory and these are your somatic embryos which have developed on the somatic cells through um, somatic um, embryogenesis and these are some more plants where the, they are growing in petri dishes and flasks in jam bottles so we can use any glassware to form these uh, plants in tissue culture conditions i hope you have understood the topic and you can refer the book Bhujwani Plant Tissue Culture by Bhujwani and Razdan to understand it better. Thank you students.